That's right, and all this taking place within the past two to two and a half hours behind us here at Clarence Aerodome Airport. And as you can see, that plane still remains on the runway behind us here. I want to step out of the way and show you that. As you can see, investigators still remain working on it at this hour. You know, we're told this all started around 2.30, troopers arriving on scene to find a single engine plane flipped over on the runway and an 82-year-old pilot inside the cockpit. Investigators on scene tell us that the plane was attempting to take off when the front tires sink into the mud on that grassy runway, causing the plane to flip upside down. Troopers then lifting the plane to get that 82 year old pilot out and take him to ECMC where he is believed to be facing non life threatening injuries. Now back out here live guys. We're standing where we are right now right by the road on this airport. This is as far as we're allowed to go. We can't get much closer to that plane crash because the FAA has not arrived on scene yet. But just a few moments ago I took a walk up there to talk to some folks on scene and I can tell you it is incredibly mucky up there. In fact just within the first few seconds of walking my feet were completely covered in mud as well as the lower part of my pants so it's very easy to understand how that tire could have got stuck in the mud there. This of course is still a developing situation and will remain on the ground here as it does and provide the latest updates as they become available. But for now live and on your side in Clarence, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News. Hey.